Yeah, guys, it's just another Neo video, Neo video update. I've just liquidated my entire crypto holdings at a loss. Got sick of them. Mentioned this in a previous video. And I just put whatever was left in Neo. I just bought Neo. I just I just liquidated the whole lot. I just liquidated the whole, <laughs> whole lot at a loss. And all I need now, I've just put it into Neo. That's that's basically what was left. That twelve, seven, eight, nine, nineteen hundred, just just under two two thousand dollars. That's what I've just bought Neo. And that's my open price. That's what I, I, the price just dipped again since my last video. And I just thought, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, I was sick and tired of holding that crypto. Sick and tired. I mean, it might go up, might go up when? One, two, three, four years time. Anyway, guys, I just uh, went in. I just went in liquidated the whole lot the whole lot and all i need let me just change the chart to where we go in here back on the neo chart all i basically need this is the neo chart see the price volatile blah, blah, blah. let's just change it on the 30 minute again yeah, as I say, like I showed you, I just got in extra and uh, basically under five dollars, even though it's going down more. But yeah, so all I need to get back my basically get back my losses. I mean. I think double, I'll get back my losses, more or less. But double and a half. So I'm, I'm basically looking for between eight and ten, eight and ten dollars. If I get ten dollars, I just guaranteed get back my losses plus a bit of profit. So, I mean, I'm holding Neo anyway. I'm holding Neo stock anyway. So, you know, I just decided to liquidate the whole lot, the whole lot. One go, one swoop. Just got sick of holding it, the crypto. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you could be holding a dead crypto, like, even though you had hopes when you bought it, you could be holding it for like five years, you know, five years more on top of the two years I've already held most of it. I don't want to be holding, it's not even... You know, you're not even profiting. You're not even getting any dividends. You know, you're just holding it. And who knows, like, they could go to the moon one or two. But at the end of the day, you're gambling. It's the gamble, isn't it? You're holding it. You're down on it. You're holding it. Is it are they ever going to go up? If they don't go up, you could be holding seven, eight years beyond the two years. You could be holding them for 10 years. And they could be dwindling. They could be losing value slowly, slowly over time, even though they spike a bit here and there, but not spike to your money back. But they could be kind of like spiking and going down and just dropping, dropping further, further. I mean, you saw that Luna, see how high that was in that crash. And that was rock bottom. You see XLM going nowhere, even XRP going nowhere. I liquidated all of those and others so you see this is uh volatile at the moment neo spiky obviously people loading up but you know i predicted this in as i said two videos ago i said it would go down and then probably spike up not in the same day maybe next day but hopefully by the eighth but if not next week well obviously like there's been an elect and it has been the election and it's you know volatile etc etc anyway never going to buy at the bottom if it, even if it goes lower but it seems to be holding up but it's kind of like spiky each way because of that volatility the neo stock at the present time and um 
yeah so anyways just an update i was considering doing it when it was five dollars a few days back if you remember i mentioned it in one of my other videos but then the price went up about 550 530 neo and i, I didn't do it plus it was a it was a little bit more down the prices of crypto was down a few days back so anyway they rose a little bit but it makes no difference really not much so i'm looking at i'm looking at eight dollars to get well i think i think because because there's different amounts and different cryptos some cryptos i had more in and i was um down more where others had more but not as much down so it's difficult to work out because it was about six or seven different cryptos different amounts etc anyway long and short of it i need eight dollars um yeah i need i need i need about eight dollars to get my money back roughly roughly and ten dollars to get a bit of profit you know for sure to get a little bit of profit not much like you know maybe 20 percent, 25 percent but i'd be happy just to get my money back and a little bit of profit to be honest you know holding for two years crypto just watching it you know it's no good you know what i mean so that's the situation guys um yeah so basically i've added to my you know holdings overall i mean look at the end of the day i held for that long on the crypto i could hold neo for the same length of time two years another two years and get a lot more value you know neo goes to 20 30 40 dollars etc i'll get a lot more value for that money even though you know it's uh obviously like it's not nice to take a loss but as i said it's not to say that crypto won't go up or, or, or certain cryptos are held won't go up but i don't know when they there's no indication with crypto it's like they they could suddenly go up but they don't seem to be the ones that are going up you know the ones that i mentioned and other ones are held but it's like right well bitcoin you know where you stand if it if it if it's on a bear trend and you know it goes to thirty thousand dollars you know like you know within the next year 18 months or whatever it's likely to spike and double which it has done as you saw just the other day today or yesterday spiked to 70 74 dollars but you know when it was down you you could put money into it because you know like it's only a matter of time it's going to spike because it's, it's the top crypto and in a way neo is the top you know top ev in china i mean it isn't but it can become that because they've got better cars you know better technology etc and um oh yeah yeah i went on stock tweets obviously i'm banned from stock tweets because I called it right and i said when i was on there the price is not not on neo but other stocks and that's why they banned me because i tell i tell you something guys yeah i don't know if this is being shared on stock tweets or whatever but stock tweets banned me because i called it right with other stocks exactly the price i said it was gonna they were gonna go up or down that, that come to pass because what stock tweets do what people don't know and most people that go on stock tweets you know they're they're kind of like naive they're like they're not really proper traders or investors most of them are young like 17 18 19 20 etc etc they don't it's all hypey hype like when a stocks like this is going down they 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 leave comments like they've got nothing else better to do they 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 saying it's all rubbish you know neo's all rubbish and all this and that you would might you might think they work for hedge funds or whatever paid shrills or whatever you know shorting want it to go down even more not that they're shorting neo of course they wouldn't be shorting neo but what i'm trying to say is they spend all their time on stock tweets 
getting hooked on, you know, leaving messages and just reacting based on the price when the price goes up or down. But most of them, they can't call it right anyway. And like when, when I was on there, you know, calling it right, that's why stock tweets spam me because what it is, what I want to say it is about stock tweets and other sites like that, they've got the back end information, right? They know the sentiment, they know what people are saying, they know you know, what trades people are making and what 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 people are likely to do, buy or sell, and they can manipulate it, right? I'm not saying they do, but first of all, they've got access to back-end information. Secondly, if they want, they can manipulate it. They can, they can cause people to sell or buy based on fear or, you know, hopes, etc. In that respect, they can make money I'm not saying they do this, all these things, but, you know, when they find someone who knows what they're talking about and knows how to call the price right, they don't want that influence on their site. So what they do, they ban you, they block you, they suspend your account. That's what's happened to me, you see, because most, of, as I say, most of the people, they don't call it right. They don't. All they're doing is leaving comments, like, you know, Saying saying that this stock's rubbish or that stock's good and you get those sort of comments go on and on and on. But if if you get people actually calling it right, telling saying that well, they, they think this stock is going to go up at this price, this stock's going to go down, and when it's going to go down, etc. They don't like that because they want to control what happens on the site. And they can control it. And you don't know who's leaving those comments. You don't know if there's actual, actually people, individuals behind those comments on uh, stock tweets. They could be, it could be, you know, um, bots, part of the site, bots leaving negative or positive comments either way to, as I say, they want to, they wait for volatility. They wait for, like this stock say to fall a bit and then what happens they they can if they want it to fall further see they might want to load up on neo they might want it at a cheaper price so they're going to put like negative comments on there and then people get scared people fear people that might have bought neo at you know seven dollars six dollars five and a half dollars or whatever they might fear and sell and the more people that sell they'll lower the price and then what happens people behind stock tweets load up or whatever so i'm not saying it goes on but it does go on guys it does go on it's been in the media with um different companies etc so you've got to think like you know when you've got thousands of thousands you know so many thousands of people using one site there's the power you've got the power to manipulate people's you know buying and selling you know people's emotions etc and that is what those sites can do i'm not saying stock tweets do it but it's possible that 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 does go on i don't know how many members have got hundred thousand or more million i don't know but you know if you've got that amount of people because look when i was calling it right i, I why is it that i get suspended where somewhat other people go on there saying this stock's rubbish when it isn't etc 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 just because the price has gone down like five ten cents and it's volatility up and down why is it that they don't get blocked you know like you know wake up smell the coffee guys like you know that's why i don't obviously i can't use the site but i wouldn't bother even if i could i could go in through you know a different server or whatever but what's the point like i'm only going to say the same things about price action and get blocked again they don't want it guys on the site as I say, you don't know what's going on. All those, um, you know, members they've got, who knows what manipulation's going on? And that's what happens, like, that's what happens with these big sites. They're all connected to hedge funds, investments, banks, you know, and um, big players, you know, it's all, it's all part of it. And, uh, and that's what the that's what can happen. They have bots as well, like um, bots sort of like, like the whole of Google gets scanned basically for sentiment, and and that's what was going on with Reddit back in the day in twenty twenty one. 
and 2020, they were basically picking up on information where, where, where people were going to, what they were going to pump, what they were going to buy. You know, it was all connected with a short squeeze and all that. But who ends up winning it ultimately? There's two winners, right? There's the people at the top of the pyramid, like when, when there's a pump and dump, the people buying, you know, when they buy at the bottom and they tell everyone else to buy, and then they end up selling and everyone else gets left holding the baby. Obviously the pyramid at the top, like there's only a certain amount of people end up profiting. And then the other group of people that profit are like the hedge funds, uh, that short the, the, the thing when it goes super high. They short the thing all the way down. We saw that in GameStop and other things like, you know, like there's a, there's a certain predictability about certain stocks or cryptos that rise so much. There's a certain predictability that they're going to fall because there's nothing holding it up. It's all hype. It's all pump and dump. So ultimately... They might get stung here and there on a short squeeze, you know, the shorters. They might get stung, but they get their own back. Like what happened with, um, for instance, GameStop, as I said, they, the, you know, the, um, at the end, the shorters got their way, right? They might have got hurt, but in the end, they got their way in it and they don't lose, guys. They don't lose out because they've got deeper pockets in there and they've got more information. They've got, as I said, they've got the back-end information, right? And eventually sentiment wanes. Sentiment dies off on, 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 on um, you know, stocks, etc. People move on. They move on to other stocks, pumping other stocks, etc. But that's what I'm trying to say, guys. That's why, you know, that's why they um, got me off because I told the truth. That's why they, they, they didn't like it. They didn't want it. That's why I can't trust those sites. I don't trust those sites. And I don't trust other YouTube channels when they say, you know, when they talk about, when a stock's falling from a high amount, you know, from a high price, and they're saying it's all good, good. They're telling people to buy it. It's because they can't read price action. They, don't, they, they can't work it out that a stock is going to fall from $66 like Neo down to, you know, 375 or whatever they can't work it out they're still telling people to buy if not directly indirectly they're telling people telling people to load up you know but not at the right price and in the meantime they're making money from the channel they're getting the views etc and they're telling they're telling like they're a high die hard um you know neo fan like neo holder they don't even show any evidence of their um holdings in Neo or any other stocks, etc., and the doubt they've even bought any stocks at all. You see it so many times, but people again, people get sucked into it, they get caught up, they get hooked on what someone's saying. But what, what, what they're actually saying is just all rubbish to, as I say, to get the views, guys. They never talk about price action. And even the channels that do talk about price action, they're only talking about a moving average indicator or some kind of indicator that's saying that this is the time to buy, this is the time to sell. But they, they're only like 50% right at a time. It's all, it's all it's, you know, it's, they, you can't rely on those indicators. As I said, you've got to, have a, you've got to be able to read the price action by looking at the patterns, looking at the trends, looking at the timing. You know, you've got to have the knack for it at the end of the day. So anyway, guys, this is just an update video based on my last video and what I've done about my crypto to liquidate it. As I say, I need, um, basically need $8. Um, yeah, $8 to get my money back, $10 to get maybe i can't work it out exactly as i said possibly 20 percent profit Look, i'll be happy with 20 percent profit at the end of the day i mean it's not a lot really but you know and it's not a lot of money but you know but for 20 percent profit i'll accept year year and a half two years wasted like let's put it this way 20 percent is better than 
on a fund, you know, on, a, on an index. Uh, let's see what happens, guys. We're still watching the prices. Volatility in Neo price at the moment, as you can see. It's going down, going up. Obviously, people are loading up. And then there's people trying to sell when it spikes. So that's probably going to settle down tomorrow. Let's see what happens and um, keep you updated. Anyway, guys, um, let me know in the comments.